Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. What it do, what it do, what it do, sneaker fam. It's your boy OG coming at you today, family. And we're here to talk about them Air Jordan 3s, those neck things, family. The ones that look just like the Air Jordan 3 True Blue. The one that everybody hated, talking about the leather was crap, this, that, and the third. But we still went out and bought them. Mass produced. Finally, it sold out. A lot of people was talking trash, but hey, I got mine. I love them. I still um, wear them. Probably gonna wear them this weekend up to a function this weekend. Just depends on how I put that fit together. But let's get back to these Nick 3s, family. They're going to be releasing on September 14th for that price point of 100 I almost said 200 $190, family. And with that said, it's a dope shoe, in my opinion. Um, will I be picking it up on release day? Probably not. The height is not real, really, really built up on these shoes. So if you do want them on release day, it shouldn't be a problem because they're going to be releasing in just about every store inside and outside of the mall. In my area, it's first come, first serve at all the big box stores like um, Foot Action, Foot Locker, Champs, Finish Line. I think they, I want to say they did a rough. I really ain't checked on Finish Line because I don't win that. I don't straight L's. But with these, you might get a W because they're mass producing, no hype on them. Um, the urban stores are getting them. First come, first serve. I think Hibbets in my area are going to be doing raffles. They do raffles for just about every Jordan. Um, but with that said, you know, family, they, they is a clean family. They look just like the True Blue Threes, in my opinion. Look just like them. Where the blue at is the orange. And it's an orange jump, man. But them, they're the same shoe. It just, they got that orange color on them. Um, that doesn't, doesn't make them trash, in my opinion. Um, it's a shoe, in my opinion, that it's it's pretty clean, it's dope, but it's not a note for me. It's a delayed pass. If I catch it on sale later on down the line, I might get it. You know, if they send out reserved pairs on the sneakers out, I might get it. You know, normally um, when no hype is really built up on a certain shoe, they kind of throw them on, throw them out on the sneakers out or just reserved pairs here and there to see if people bite on them just because they're able to get them early. And they don't have to do a lot of hustle and bustle to get them. Um, Get them off your phone, ship to your house, you're good. A lot of people get them that way. But um, like I say, they're not hyped up because of the Travis Scott 6s that were supposed to release on the same day as these Nick 3s. But now the Travis Scott's been pushed back to October. And all of a sudden, here comes the Game Royal Blue, if that's what they call them. 12s, you know what I'm talking about. The Game Royal 12s, the black and blue 12s. Now everybody hyping those up. They weren't hyped up when them Travis Scott's was um, about to drop on the 14th of this month. Now, since they pushed back, everybody's running to the 12s now, leaving these threes um, in the dust, basically. Um, so it's, it's going to be interesting to see how these shoes sell, you know, where they sit. Um, it's somewhat a big GR. I think they're going to sit. Um, a lot of people are now going to go after those 12s. Um, the 12s are clean, you know. A lot of people was talking about they didn't like the blue part on them, but hey, man, it is what it is. If you like it, you might as well go ahead and get it. Um, will I be copying the threes? Not on release day, like I say. I'm going to probably go ahead and wait. Like I say, if it go on sale or um, catch it at outlet, I might copy for under retail. Um, but my attention now is on the twelves also. Call me a hype beast if you must. But I think the twelves they're going to be somewhat um, a GR2. But that's probably be my next cop. And I do like these, man. And I, I'm not saying I, I, I might cop, I might not cop. Um, these are up in the air, man. I'm on the fence about them. But as of now, making this vid, it don't look like a cop for me. It may be a delayed pass, family. But like I said, they throw that reserve app to me. And alley -oop, that um, the sneakers app I always throw to you. Reserve your pair today. I might cop. But for me getting up, Going to the stores and all this, that, and the third. On the 14th, it's not going to happen. I got something going on, so I won't be available that morning to run to the stores. Um, so, like I said, it's just according to how I feel. If I feel like I want to get them out the sneakers app, I am able to. I might. You know, like I say, it's a nice, clean, casual shoot. Now, some of you probably going to go ahead and put up until next spring or summer. Because that's, that's the vibe I'm getting. This summertime, uh, spring, summertime vibe from this Nick 3. But... That's just my opinion, family. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about the Nick 3. 
Will you be pulling the trigger on these? Will you be copping or dropping? Will you do a delayed pass? Meaning, if you catch it for under retail or at the outlets, will you cop it then? Now, I know all my New York City folks are going to probably be copping this shoe, family. Um, so, hey, man, best of luck to everybody who's going after this shoe on the 14th of September. With that said, appreciate y'all family for pressing that play button. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I drop a vid. Hey family, it don't cost you nothing to do none of that. Subscribe, hit that notification bell. It's free. And I'm out. Peace.